hello i'll be showing you how to make a very simple ticketing system and i'm going to show you the features that are in that are included in the ticketing system using power apps no other um, additional application is used just power apps and then for the automated emails i used automate it's also very possible to make your emails come in from your power app. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Wash out. All I've done is to play around with shapes and text. That's it. So this is where I have my name, my email, and also the um, user photo is also here. You can also bring this out easily with power apps all you need to do is to put in user open close bracket close bracket dot and then you're going to see the name the email or the image now this is just a message that can be able to see the user that is signed in and capture the name does it these are all buttons new ticket buttons manage button ticket report button because i am also part of the support team i was able to make this button visible if you are just a user who comes into the system to put in ticket you won't be able to click any of this however for you to start a new ticket you click on the button now what i've done so far is to make a very simple edit form with power apps and the four column and although I adjusted the column width, that's why it looks a bit and presentable. So all you need to do is to put in the, the name of your um your the support ticket. I'm going to put support tickets for my laptop screen. Laptop screen. Yeah. And the date is actually capturing today. You could change the date. The support is it's actually a technical issue or whatever it is. And then I can make it to be because I use my system every day and it's very critical. I'm going to say it's I and then I'm going to just put in um, issue description for this. You can put in whatever you want in here. It's going to do all right and then i'm going to add an image i'm going to quickly put a simple image looking for an image to just use all right i use this and there's no source i don't need to attach any file and all i need to do is to sub submit Upon submitting, I'm going to have a little info. Your ticket has been submitted successfully to the support team. It's going to send me an email for confirmation and also send the support team an, an email just for reminder. And then all I need to do, if I come in as a support um, manager or support staff, I just click on my manage ticket. It takes me to total tickets in the system. It's about 13. And I can always streamline this to months and all that. But then the total ticket resolve is five. Total in queue. It's I think that sound is for the email that came in. All right. So um the email that came in to remind me that there's a new support ticket. So total ticket in queue is this. So this is for my home, my dashboard, my tickets, all tickets in queue resolved. So if you're new to this system, you might not know what this is, but I didn't want to take too much space. However, you can toggle and then you see if you're comfortable using it this way, you can also use your home dashboard, this, and everything is visible there. And all I need to do is to click on my tickets. So this will tell me different tickets. All I've done here is to bring it in normal gallery, list gallery. I tried to work on the images capturing the title, who created the date, the description, the status, the um, what's the name, the level. Also, I put in uh, an icon, I'm um, sorry, a, a, um, a shape and I made it color. So if it's completed, this is where you use conditional statement in your, um, in your shapes 
or icons or whatever it is just to make it a bit user friendly right so if it's completed i want it to be in green if it's completed if it's in progress i want it to be in yellow if i won't fix it i want it to be in red and then based on the um priority level i've also made some i can always do more to this or reduce it and this will let me edit each and i could be able to assign it to someone so the person can get an email of it i can assign it here and then when i'm done i just update the ticket that's it if i'm not comfortable to view this in a list format i could click on the grid right to see it in the grid format so what happened here is i've done the same gallery but not in not um in the list view it's now in a grid view and all i need to do is this button is um is powered by variables like setting variables on click and if i click the grid is off is below and now we have list view list view will still do the same toggle so that's just a trick behind it and then for me to see the the tickets in queue all i've done is i put in a gallery but i filter the gallery to bring in just things that are low and things that are um I to bring out everything as long as it's not completed it will all be filtered out here right I can also search if I want based on any, any um, stuff I want so support ticket for my laptop is here did see it's at the beginning so it's kind of high but then it's not in progress so I could click here I come here it's in new and then I could just make it maybe in progress and then I'll assign someone to this I can assign myself to this and then i just need to update this and once i update it we're going to see that this ticket is now assigned to someone i'm going to go the person this um stuff is assigned to is going to get an email oh come on you have something you need to fix for someone and everything will be defined in the email right so when you're done you can go also to see all the tickets that you've resolved and these are the tickets you've resolved i can come back here let me let me say i'm I fixed this yeah i know it's high but i think I want, i've fixed it and so it's no longer in progress is completed and all i need to do is to update it disappears from this gallery and it appears in this gallery so this is it so what you get from now is completed and then my system will be able to count total tickets resolved it's no longer five it's now six so that's all that is within the system there is nothing else special however you can also integrate the power bi report on this space actually that's why i kept the space for you guys to do your reporting and then put it here so you can have a live report on your system for the data um for the database or something that acts like database i use sharepoint list because i wouldn't want to add anything that will require paying money for it so this is a system that you can use this list can capture thousands of information and you can also um export your data yearly if you want maybe after two five years so that it can be on the system you can archive that list and do more things so that's all about the system and also you can also send emails instead of using automate to send your emails you can just use the power apps features that allows you to send outlook emails immediately specified emails. i'm going to show all this in more sections to come on how to do more systems as you can use power app to do any kind of system any kind of application you can even think of including um applications that have to do work with google map right for inspections and all that thank you so much